Hey, what is going on, everybody? It's Polter Guy here, and I'm doing some more Dead Rising 2 gameplay. Just starting back up in the story where I left off. Chuck Green is getting accused of starting the zombie terrorism bullshit. He's obviously fucking a terrorist. It's just obvious. And that is the always lovely Rebecca Chang, and we're gonna go save her. Or some bullshit. I'm not. I'm not. I'm just not. Things are not as they seem. See, now I can relate now that everybody nowadays is. <laughs> Especially when you look at him. I don't know what the hell is going with that. It's three in the fucking morning. That's sad. He is very angry. Hold on. Oh, I didn't... No, okay. Sorry if that was really loud. I gotta hurry up and do this really quick. Oh, well, it already is. Okay, that's good. Never mind. Awesome. So hopefully y'all can hear me really good. I have three swords. And I look like a crazy combat person. This is just a bunch of stuff you got from Auto like getting the PlayStation 4 version of this game, which I highly recommend, if, especially if you have a buddy you can play with. Because this game is just so fucking fun, especially if you got a friend with you. But back to the bullshit. Remember to drink your OJ. It restores four bars of health. As you can see in the top right corner, I'm poor as fuck. Well, evidently somebody didn't invite me to the flash mob. That makes Chuck angry. Angry enough to look like a fucking half-reaper, half-army veteran mix that just bought the wrong shoes. He's getting some ideas. Having sex with one of the zombies on the table. I like it. I don't need the weapon. I have a melon. Okay. And did I leave anything alive? Awesome. Rule number one, never leave anything alive. Rule number two, leave this woman alive. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Yeah, he sounds like a real winner. You have a pipe, so I don't really care about whatever your deal is. Fag, come here. Uh oh, I used a derogatory term. I'm not against homosexuals. I have friends that are homosexuals. They're awesome. Ladies, gentlemen, and those in between. Shoot. Come here. All right. Actually, Gordon needs something. Gordon, come here. Here, have a sword, Gordon. Now, let me upgrade you real quick, Lashandra. Lashandra, what are you doing? He is not your objective. Let me upgrade you. Give me your stupid pipe, Lashandra. Lashandra. Thank you. Thank God. Bow. Alright, upgrade Lashandra. Alright, upgraded your face. Looking good. I didn't mean to do that. I guess it kind of looks cool if I got a bunch of people running around with swords. Oh, sorry. I whacked her across the head. Here, have a melon. Lashandra, just... Thank you. Here, have a... Lashat, here, come here. Your style is very stupid. Lashandra, chill out. 
Take the melon, eat the melon. Yeah, I appreciate you too. As soon as you take the sword back. There you go. Alright. Actually, what I should do is go through here to get more swords, because I know there will be more survivors. Uh, pro tip, also, don't give the survivors guns, because it's not uncommon for you to accidentally make one of them defect, aka make them hate you. And if they have a gun, they have unlimited ammo. And if you give them an LMG and there's multiple of them, consider yourself dead meat. So, give them like a sword or something. Swords ain't so bad. You gotta be kind of careful because you have a massive hit range and they don't really. And if you're at this high of a level, it doesn't really matter. Uh, but if you're like a low level and they keep whacking you because they gotta stay so close to you, uh... I'd recommend just like letting them keep small range weapons like a lead pipe or an axe because that's not really big of a range, but the sword is massive. And I guess a handgun ain't so bad either to let them have, but I wouldn't personally and I would say I'm pretty good at this game. I'm playing it for freaking ever. I love this game. I say as I swing missed and twice. Alright. Swing and a miss. Also, another pro tip. If you want, like, you see how I have, like, one million dollars up there? It, well... Like, that is easily obtainable. The, uh, how you do it is there are three magazines, gambling magazines, in, uh, the entire, I guess, city or whatever of, of the entire area of Fortune City. Also, you want to talk to these guys so you can get, like, really cheap Zombrex. Because now all the pawn shops are open and you can just buy Zombrex like that and just comes out like a little drop of dookie awesome and now uh, the camera's weird okay they also have a bunch of combo weapons like freaking that right there tell you what i'm gonna run around with a battle axe and i'm gonna have a bunch of people with swords and we're gonna be freaking awesome that's what's gonna happen here onward I was almost 100% sure that there were survivors that I could pick up named Chad and Lorraine or whatever. What was I saying? Damn it. <coughs> um, I honestly can't remember what I was saying. I will think about it for like a good five seconds while this loading screen is loading. I honestly can't remember. I'm fucking stupid. It's alright. It's 3 in the morning, and that's why. I have the greatest memory known to man. And I will rewatch this episode and continue talking about it. I'd hit it. I'd hit that too. You need to pay attention out here. Buddy. Rebecca Shang. Are you serious? From the security video. I thought you'd be long gone by now. Since you're sticking around, care to answer a few questions? I'm not your story. It was obviously me. I mean, the man wearing the helmet, I mean, nobody else would wear a yellow helmet. I mean, it is my style, yellow helmets. I'm going to cut through this real quick. Basically just talks about, hey, let's go to the security room. I bet that's where the shit is. All right, and that's basically it. 
Can I give her a sword? I'm pretty sure not. I guess I can't give her a sword. That's okay. Well, the best shot in the world. Yeah, she also asks you to take a leak over here. Which, uh, it's not a bad idea in all honesty. I'm just gonna shoot off both his arms. It's basically just like to save your game, but for time's sake and video's sake, I'm just not gonna do that. Something I can talk about. I haven't talked for the past like five seconds. Sorry. Playing the game, having fun. Uh, anyway, these DLC pieces. Uh, if you were wondering why I might have more ammo than normal, the uh, DLC pieces. They're not really DLC anymore. They were DLC, but um, now they're like just normal because uh, this is a different version of the game. Rebecca, hurry up. This is the PS4 version, basically. And uh, each piece gives me something. The Psycho Mask gives me, uh, like, different things I can do with certain weapons. I guess anything that a Psycho would use. Um, the Ninja, like, hat gives me stealth around zombies, and also it can do those cool things you saw me doing with the sword. The combat boots, um, how do I not have the plate launcher? The combat boots, um, they are not combat boots, but the combat pants give me uh, more ammo and more effectiveness with the ammo. And the sport fan shoes make me run faster and I can do certain things with sports stuff like uh, hats and um, certain balls because I love playing with balls. Did I just say that on the internet? Now I'm fucked. I'm fucked. Everybody's fucked. We all fucked. How did I hit something? There we go. Thank you, Rebecca. Oh, sorry. I thought you were a zombie. Oh, my bad. Sorry, thought you were a zombie again. Basically, she just bends over, picks the lock. Dang it, Lashandra. Hurry up. I don't know how you manage that, LaShondra. Uh, 